Welcome, Welcome back, back Life First. First. It's your fam, Natalie. And Nicole. And today is Motivational, Motivational Monday. Monday. Hey, Thank you guys. You. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> um, we know we've been gone for a minute and then we're back with the jump off. I know we said it last time and you guys are probably getting tired of it. But blame Natalie. Anyway, um... Thank you. Um, today, Natalie, what are we going to be talking about? I'm going to be talking about um, rejection from others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and how rejection doesn't mean denied. Ooh, thing. Amen. And for me, uh, I'm just going to touch base on um, loving yourself enough to know to walk away. Loving yourself enough enough. You're going to get together to go. Loving yourself enough to know when to walk away. Um, and I'm pretty sure we can make that into a whole dang on okay. five part video. But um, for now, we're going to do this little part. So I just want to say um, a lot of people just not. Who likes rejection? Mm -hmm. Seriously, who likes rejection? I get anxiety. Used to get right. anxiety. Because I sometimes I realize, reject. like I do say, rejection is not rejected but not denied. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that rejection is blocked mm -hmm. for a reason. Mm -hmm. Trust me, y'all. Yep. But especially with, um, I guess, with relationships or budding relationships mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, to be so into someone and to um, automatically give your all to someone. Although they have made it painstakingly clear that mm -hmm. they do not want what you want okay Absolutely. they do not have the same interest that you have and i'm talking about long-term goals mm -hmm. um oh well um i am going to stay although they've rejected me i'm going to stay mm -hmm. and i'm going to love them enough <clears throat> So that way they can stay with me. Mm -hmm. They will one day want me. Mm -hmm. So now then you find yourself in a situationship. Yes. Um, because you have now. Um, you have now put all your. Everything you have. Into someone who has made it very clear. That they do not want you in that way. Yes. You have put your all into them. You're doing. Um, I can't say girlfriend duties or boyfriend duties. You're doing stuff that you would do in a relationship with someone who only wants a friendship with benefits. With benefits, mm -hmm. which equals a situation. And it's only a situation. Let's just be grown. Let's just be honest. It's only a situation because both parties are not in agreement. Yes. I'm just saying. Cause and, ben and friends with benefits then does not necessarily mean um, sex. Uh, sex. Oh, it does not. Um... She may be getting out of church. She could be. Um, it does not mean sex. Mm -hmm. it, it, it benefits. Okay. What are they benefiting? What are they getting from you? You could be taking care of them. Could be when they don't have a job. Just think about this. You, you giving get, your time away. Uh, your, uh, your love away. Your love okay. away, and it's not your getting patience. reciprocated. Oh my god. That right there, and you don't do y'all understand how much hurt that you're putting yourself into? Mm -hmm. Because you do not. You don't have. You don't know your worth. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do not know your self worth. Mm -hmm. That you are allowing yourself to be. You're, you're allowing that light that you have to be diminished and given to someone oh, yes. who has said that they do not want what you want. Mm -hmm. Natalie, you want a relationship? I don't want that. I'm not looking for a relationship. Okay. But I love you. I understand. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stay there. Yeah, but I love you. So I know that if I stay, <sighs> I know we're going to be in a relationship. Yeah. And you know who done came by me? The person God has sent to me, mm -hmm. and it came by me, came my life, and I immediately blocked them. Mm -hmm. Because I right. blocked them. Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to make the puzzle fit, mm -hmm. make the piece in this puzzle fit Absolutely. in this situation. Okay? Because I didn't love myself enough. Because I did not know my self worth. Mm hmm. Instead of me seeing that I am that rare gem, because we all are, trust me, we, we all are, no matter, despite or in spite of what we have done, we are all still a rare gem. Yeah, it does, let me, t and uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, doesn't matter what you look like, mm -mm. it does not what matter what you have, what mm -hmm. your social status is, trust and believe me when I say you. Are deserving of love it, for you real. Are deserving of true love true true love that will that won't come in and break you down um that isn't 
you just settling because you think, well, you know what? This is the best I'm going to get. You're, you're right. That right advice. there. That's settling word right mm -hmm. there. That's settling. You're settling. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Why are you settling? Why? Who said you have to do that? Mm -hmm. Who put that in your mind that you have to settle? You know? And so mm -hmm. I, I know, if, I've been, unfortunately, I've been on that spectrum of where I was rejected. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. And still allow them to have the best parts of me. Depleting myself. I'm talking about the best parts of me. And then I kept blaming it on, well, I just have a good heart. Mm -hmm. No, that wasn't it. I settled for what they were willing to give me. Mm. Because I wanted to live in a popcorn world. But I want what I want right here, right now. Exactly. I didn't want to wait for God to place someone in my life. Mm -hmm. I want to, the person I had set my eyes on at that present moment, I wanted them to be formed into how, who I wanted them to be. I wanted them to be mine. Although they told me, I don't want that. I Because I wanted it, I was willing mm -hmm. to sit there, take anything, anything, and less than. I was willing to do that. Because I didn't have any self-love myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't know my self-worth. And then I sat here and complained. Oh, they're depleting me. I allowed it. I allowed it. Mm -hmm. I did. And then being on this journey of getting to know yourself and putting yourself first and dating yourself, you realize that you was a rare gem in all of this. Yeah. You were. Life. You definitely were. Mm -hmm. You definitely were. You do not have to settle for anybody. Because I guarantee you there is someone out there. Someone out there who is willing, who wants to love you the way you want to be loved. Yes. And then, sometimes realize that the one person that you want and the one person that you need is yourself. The girl. Seriously. You do not, who, you don't have to be in a relationship. Yeah, the, girl, hello, you, you don't. don't. I know people out here who is happily single. Mm-hmm. They don't want a relationship. There are you people don't that have, have been married for have, years and then. Unhappy and that's another thing right there. Oh, you're you're this age and you haven't you're not married. You're this age and you're not you don't have any kids. Why are you pushing? Mm -hmm. Why are you pushing? Why are people so willing to push what they want on someone else? Mm -hmm. Why are especially the kids part? Why are you so worried about what my uterus is doing? Mm -hmm. Why are you so worried about uh, or wanting me to because I've been with somebody so long? You're right. like. And you know, certain people know of your situation. Oh, y'all, our babies will not save a marriage, will not save a relationship. And I think it's very selfish of, of people to bring a child into a marriage or a relationship and your foundation is not solid. Your yes. foundation is shaky. I think it is so selfish. I think that it puts so much pressure on that child. You are now saying that child, oh, you saved my marriage. Oh, you say my. I think that is so selfish. Right. Like selfish beyond. Mm -mm. It is. <sighs> oh, I want a child. I want a child. I can't wait to have one. And but you're not together where you need to be as a couple. If you're not, if you can't show effectively show love to your mate, you think a baby coming to that situation is going to change that? It's not. Your baby's going to witness you not effectively yes. showing love to their other parent your baby will now mimic mm -hmm. that as they grow older and the cycle they will, will continue mimic it. they will accept mm -hmm. they will start to accept from other people's what you give out mm -hmm. to your mate or what they will accept that so if you're giving lackluster to your mate guess what they're going to either give lackluster to their mate or they're going to accept when someone gives them lackluster yep it, a product of your environment yep that is very, 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 very true. Very true. And I see so many people out here that because they haven't healed those inner parts of themselves, mm -hmm. they sit out here and <clears throat> they allow oh, someone water. to degrade them in the refrigerator, like I said. Mm -hmm. My throat's a little dry. Mm -hmm. They allow someone. It's open. It's mine, though. And it's still cold. They have allowed someone to degrade them. Call you a hoe. Call you the B word. Um, I did say B word because my mama does watch this. <laughs> um, call you a slut. 
Um, okay, and that, that's for the. Put that's your, for the. Go ahead. Put your put your and I guarantee they they putting your name out there. The they friends Tom, Dick, and Harry. That's or for the Sue Ellen, Mary, now. and and uh, Karen. Okay, because. I don't know. It just sounds good, but yes, the same it's thing goes for for a man. It does, and and I don't. You you you've accepted them calling you this, because where's your self love at? Mm-hmm. And it's really sad. Once you really sit back and think about it, mm-hmm. and so many of these young kids, they are going through that. Yeah, they are going through that. Yeah, so many of it, they're going through it. They have become a product of their environment. They don't. They have. They don't have people pouring into them, mm-hmm. and that people pouring into them is not what needs to be. No, it's it's not their cup. It's not. It's this sleeve. Mm. It's a Jody shirt. It's, and it's just. It's it, it's so sad that so, so many so many kids are lost. Mm-hmm. So many teenagers are lost because of that right there. Like, and this, despite if you're not for this person, you know you're young. But um, you have time. Your your growth is going to be amazing. Mm-hmm. You know, no one's saying have it together right now. If anything, at this age, you need to be focusing on yourself. Oh yes, I'm so serious. Love yourself, please. And it's, it's I understand it's easier said than done because it's truly it's truly a process. Mm-hmm. But that progress is going to be amazing. But love yourself. And I guarantee you, you're going to love yourself so much that when someone starts to even come at you sideways or out the side of their neck, you're going to be able to block it. Mm-hmm. You know who you are. You are so sure with who you are. You know you are a child of God. He made you. You are wonderfully made. Mm-hmm. No one, there's nothing no one can say or do that will um, take that away from you. And you don't have to accept what they're trying to give you. Yeah, my water. Huh? That that was deep. <laughs> what you say over there? <laughs> okay, well Ain't for me, okay, no, there's nobody here but us down here. So if somebody answered back, this video will be in. <laughs> <laughs> I will be going home <laughs> and praying that whatever's here will stay and not follow. You better bash it outside. You better open that door and bash it outside. You better do what I do. Yeah, I side note, I really I don't know what happened at work today, but it was a noise. And and Hugo uh-huh. coming in talking about it was something stuff was falling. No. I took that dang on um my holy oil out my purse. Okay. Because hold on wait, sidebar okay. again. Queen was in the kitchen and Queen said, uh uh-uh, uh, that sink just moved. And I said, What? She said that sink just moved, so you seen that thing on TikTok and out of something I make a noise and everybody blacks like mm. So I sit there and I'm like this. And that sink, the hose moved. The SBC sink hose uh-huh. moved. And so I went on there. And you know the little striper thing? Yeah. So I got that and I'm like this. <laughs> so I opened the thing. It's nothing up on that. I said, okay now. Okay. I'm serious, y'all. Y'all, y'all been blessed this land before y'all built on it. Okay. I really brought out that holy oil. But okay, so for me. So you know how when you you have someone, you meet someone. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you already have... I. When, when dating someone, you have these qualities, mm-hmm. okay, that you like to have in your mate. And um, they tell you, you know, I've been hurt before, you know, no one has cared for me like that, mm-hmm. has love for me like that. I have abandonment Yeah, abandonment I have issues. abandonment issues. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're like, you know what? Um, I could take that, you know. I, 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 although I have these qualities that I expect me, and it's okay to expect these kind of qualities in your mate. It's okay. It's it's that's your preference. It's okay to have a preference. Uh, we don't have to. We don't have to come. Um, I don't want to have somebody that's, that's, and I don't want to be mean when I say this, but I, I'm tired of hearing oh. We're all a little broken. No, I'm not broken. Okay. I'm not broken. I'm healing, but I'm not broken. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I have these qualities, okay? And you get with that person, and they show you they don't have these qualities. Mm-hmm. 
But you're like, you know what? I can, I, I can, I can change this person. They're showing you exactly who they are. But you, in your mind, you said all they needed was for someone to love them. Right? Mm. All they needed was someone to care about them a little someone bit more. Someone not to leave them. Mm -hmm. All they mm. needed was for since since they said that everybody has left them, they just need somebody who's there for them. They just need somebody that's going to to pray. P R A Y for them and not P R E Y mm. on them. Mm. So. We we give the signs. The signs are already there. The red flags are already, already there. Waiting. But what we do, we ignore them because here we are. We want to save. Why? Why? I, I, I wish I knew. I, I've even had that complex of, of wanting to save someone because I felt like when I needed saving, who was saving me? So, but what, what does that do to you when you... When it you, drains you. Mm -hmm. It drains you of your energy. It's like... Not even a, of of everything that you thought you knew about this person is is I'm not gonna say it's false, but you made it. It's their truth, but you didn't accept it. Mm -hmm. So you made it whatever in, in your mind you can form an idea of what they should be. So that's your truth, and you put them in that box. Mm -hmm. And for a little while, they may be that person you want them to be because they want to appease you. So they have they have they have. Conform to what mm -hmm. you want. What them to you be. want them to be, right? Not, just, who, they, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. who they are. But right. This is just to appease you. Mm -hmm. You know. And then after a while, they're like, "It's getting hard." Continue, you know, continue to be someone I'm not. It's hard to be fake. Mm -hmm. So what they do? Their real, true self start to emerge. Mm -hmm. You know, little by little, little by little. And then at that point, unfortunately, uh, if you don't catch it soon enough, years have passed. Mm. Okay. And now. Kids could be into it. Kids could be into it. Families are merging. And you're like, you feel almost stuck. Yeah. Okay? And you're like, um, you know, you, you, I remember when we first got together, you was never like this. Yes, yes, they were. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Mm -hmm. You was just too busy. You, you was mm -hmm. too busy to even look at them. You was looking past them. You didn't look at them when you first met them. Mm -hmm. You didn't look at you look at their physical, you didn't look at the mental, you didn't look at the spiritual, you look at the physical. We didn't take time to to get to know one another. So now you wanna complain, like you said before in yours. You wanna complain that oh, um this ain't who you so y yes it was. It was. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately you thought that you were gonna be the same grace. You thought it was gonna take it everything. Was you. Yes, it was your love, it was your time, your patience that was gonna sit there and change this person. That you you was the you was the Mr. or Mrs. Fix it of it all. But in the time of you trying to fix them, you lost yourself. Mm -hmm. And then now here you are while you're trying to steadily build them up mm -hmm. and you have torn yourself down, now you have to rebuild yourself up. And when you are rebuilding yourself and finally putting that energy that you have put into them onto yourself, it is it's turned as to be to be selfish. Do you do you do you and I'm not saying you in general, but mm -hmm. do you think that like they start to blame their partner for them being torn down? Oh yeah. Absolutely. When the end, Absolutely. It was them that did it. Absolutely. I do think that maybe, you know, Circumstances changes things. Mm -hmm. um, when you're with someone, you know, you, you never know what could happen. Right. I tell people, you don't believe me. I tell you the truth. Finances is the number one thing that ends relationships and marriages. People don't want to believe, but if I can't truth. have a conversation with you about our finances. Okay, finances are the one thing that will end a marriage and will end a relationship. Um, if we besides. Infidelity, but okay. Besides, but, but, but I, I say to me, it's the no. number thing that will end the relationship. Um, if I'm about to bring it up, if I'm mm -hmm. about to bring up our finances, I'm like, we need to talk about some bills. Oh, oh. what then the whole answer is what? What about them? What about oh, okay, well, I need you, you know, we need to pay this. We need to go, yeah, we need to go ahead and set a budget. And yeah, on this day, since this is since we get paid this many times a month, and this is how much we get paid, we're gonna go ahead and budget. Oh. Yeah, no, we're, we're adults Ooh. here. We, right, we accumulate these bills together. Don't think it's better. Uh, we have so it. okay. So, uh, like I said, life happens. Things change. Um, yes, I have been on. And this is me being very honest. I have been on the end of putting my mate down, only because, um, and it's no excuse. I was so f uh, 
frustrated and fed up in the situation that we were in at the moment that and I felt like the words that I was saying was not getting through I felt like everything that I talked about was getting thrown over um over the over his shoulders so the next thing for me is I was lashing out I've asked you multiple times I come to you hey Natalie you know what when you did this this upset me what's going on with you we talk about okay mm-hmm I'm a change. Blah, blah. I'm a change. I give you about what a week. And Natalie, I told you before this upset me. What's going on with you? I come to you calmly, I, cause that's what I do for real. Even now, I will come to you calm. Mm-hmm. After like the six, seven time, I'm, I can no longer be calm because yeah. at this point you're making a choice I to say disregard. Every, I say it yeah, every to time. disregard what I've asked you not I to say do. It every time you're choosing mm -hmm. to hurt me, you're choosing to do something that's going to make me feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. You're choosing to do. I've said that plenty of time. It's so your now, choice. Now the first time mm -hmm. can be considered a mistake. Oh, I did not know. I apologize. I will not do that again. Okay, well, I'm gonna be. I'm not going to do it. Okay, I don't do it for a couple weeks. And then I'm going to do it. Um, okay. No. I made the choice to hurt you. Because I know. I didn't forget. I didn't forget that it hurts you. Right. I know it does. Yeah. Because we've had this in-depth conversation about it. I know what it does. But I'm going to do it again. Mm-hmm. And so we continue to do it. Third. And we do fourth, this. Fourth. Because you let it go. Events. You let it go. You're still you here You let it me. go because of you not want to continue this argument. Mm-hmm. So now we do the same song and dance. Mm -hmm. And you're like, you know what? Um, your mate tells you, you know what? I don't like when when you yell at me, when you talk to me. Like that, and you're like, okay, you know what? <sighs> let me try to change my attitude. Let me let me look at myself to see uh, if maybe I am talking to them in the wrong kind of way. So, you know, you, you, you look at yourself and you're like, okay, you know what? I, I, can, I can change that. I wouldn't want somebody to talk to me like that. But once again, it always comes down to, I've had this conversation with you plenty of times. But that's okay. I'm going to continue to stay with him because I love him. And I know that if I continue to bring it to him, I could change. He's going to change for me. Mm -hmm. Just continue to change for nobody else. He's going to change for me. Because you know why? I'm the exception. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. I'm the exception. Right. I can make him change. And then now, you know, let's say, I don't know, years have passed, months have passed, whatever. You're like... You finally sit down and have a conversation. You know, is this where where you want to be? Is this is this? You know, if if the roles reverse, if if you knew if you knew now what you if you knew then what you knew now, would you still be with me? Mm -hmm. You know, what, would you? And then you realize that no, you wouldn't. You you, you wouldn't be with that person. Mm -hmm. And then now you're scrambling trying to figure out where do we go from here then. Right. You know, like I have given you so much of myself and what is what is that person going to do in return to give to you? Right. Like you've lost yourself. Mm -hmm. You've finally found yourself again, you know, All and then you're going to be someone saving grace. Yes. You that is so hard. And it, you, you, it is very draining. Like I said, coming from from my end, I can honestly say from, from just experience. That it's draining for, like I said, only yeah, my experience. For me, I was very, I was emotionally drained. I learned how to, all it taught me by being someone saving grace is how to put myself on the back burner so well that I feel guilty when I buy myself a small little thing. Any smaller thing, I feel so guilty. Um, and then... Now, you know, Nicole is first. And I, I'm not, I'm not, I put myself first before anybody except for God because I can't be the best version of myself if I don't put, my, if I don't put myself first. If I don't yes. love myself enough, if I don't love myself more than I love you, um, then how can I effectively love you? Right. So, and it took me a long time to love myself, to come to terms with, you know what? Um, it's okay for me to put myself first. It's okay to say no. It is okay to say no. Mm -hmm. um, it's okay for for me to realize that you know where we are in life, we're not on the same page in life. Does it? And does it? Does it? Just because you have invested so much time into mm -hmm. someone, because trust me, yeah, a lot of people understand it is an investment mm -hmm. when you're giving someone so much of yourself, and especially when you're in a relationship, it's an investment. 
when you've invested so much time into yourself, does it, it does it does it make that decision of where do we go from here even more harder? Not to me. I think once you <coughs> no more water, sorry. Girl, it's a little tickle for real. Mm. It's that uh Look, do. Okay, anyway. What <laughs> it could be. I could. <laughs> um it was delicious. So it could uh, for me, speak for myself. Mm -hmm. Um I, I I'm at the age thirty four years young that I'm like peace of mind before anything. I feel you, Nicole. Peace of mind. Like my husband is always asking me, Why don't you go for that higher position at work? Because it's not what I want to do in life. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can't I'm not helping anybody uh doing that job i feel like this right here is helping someone hopefully and this is what i want to make my career mm -hmm. um but i know it's going to take time which is why i'm still at at my current job because they pay well they pay the bills and i ain't got time okay but um i don't want to advance any higher than i'm at because my peace of mind is so important yeah i make great money now and i could be making even more money but Money does not equal my happiness. Mm -hmm. I know that no matter what, God will provide. I truly believe that if y'all only knew, and when I say God will provide, I don't mean financial security. Like, oh, boom, it's a it's a million dollars in your bank account. No, God gives you the tools to get that million dollars mm -hmm. yourself. Um, or God placed people in your life to help you mm -hmm. uh, provide for you. I'll like my stuff. mother, who y'all, I was telling everybody at work, y'all don't understand um, I don't know what I did in this lifetime to to deserve a mother like Mary Edie, but Lord knows I love her. She literally took me and Natalie grocery shopping. I know, and I was got so this much stuff, and I promise her stuff probably came up to I say sixty, seventy bucks, maybe. I know, that. and I was, I was, and she spent over five hundred dollars, and the rest was on. And I, when we was shopping, I was like, me and Nicole stopped. We went to Sam's, and me and Nicole stopped, and I was like. I ain't going to get nothing else because uh, I was like, how much did mama say? She was like, she didn't get no limit. I was like, well, I'm not going to get nothing else. And then I met mama on one aisle. And mama was like, is mm -hmm. that all you going to get? Mm -hmm. She was like, girl, if you don't go get some more stuff. And I was like, no, mama, because um, I was like, you didn't tell us how much. And I was like, I already told to Nicole. She just, what she did, she, uh, and started walking away. I was like, uh, excuse me. She was like, you. you better go get you some tissue. Go yep. get some paper towels, too. I don't is need that paper towels for the is that all you're going to get, Natalie? Is that it? But yes, I and I, I can't stand when people say, and I know it's, it irks my soul when people say this. Uh, my mama is better than yours. My mama is exactly who she's supposed to be to us. For us. I don't God, know how. Hopefully your mother loves you the way that you're, you need to be loved. God and pours into exactly you what he the way that doing. you're supposed to be poured into. Yes. Because for us. Yeah. And Sharika and, and my mother's grandkids, even with my husband and her son-in-law, she pours into mm -hmm. us. She Mama always has are such refilling a radiant. Uh, uh, her, 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 her her energy, whole, her spirit, everything. She has everything. such a radiant vibe and people everything. are drawn to her mm -hmm. and they really are. They are drawn to her where they look at my mother as their mother and at that point, I do not mind sharing. Me neither. Because my mama, she is, she, for us, for us, God knew exactly what he was doing. He knew cry. exactly what he was doing. No, 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 was like this. Girl, think about that stew that's in there. Because I was like. Anywho, um, <clears throat> rejected. But does not, not denied. mean mm. denied. Mm. Delayed does not mean denied. Mm. Okay. Amen. Okay. Yeah, um, um, uh, it's okay to wait. But while you're waiting, work on yourself. So when that person come into your life. You don't have to. You don't have to want them to save you mm -hmm. and love on you so hard because I mean, love on you so hard to save your yourself because you love yourself and you both can are equally yoked. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all I want is is for us to be equally yoked. We like I said, we could touch on this topic for a, a lot of videos. Um, I know that mm -hmm. these videos are heavy. The self. Journey that we on the videos are heavy, but they are necessary. They are. They, they are, are heavy though, but they um, are so necessary. Yeah, I just want to say, y'all, look at my hair. I got lock sprinkles. Look at my hair. I, I did on myself. It. Look at them, y'all. That thing looks so cute. What do you say? You were supposed to twist my hair. Nicole was supposed to be over here. Okay, we're not gonna talk about that. I was tell you. 
<sighs> I was late for work too. Anyway, so guys, we hope that you guys have enjoyed our video. Mm -hmm. um, we hope that you guys um, will like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, mm -hmm. uh, if you need to talk, we'll put the description to our pages at the bottom of you uh, actually in the description. I really do. Okay. So if you guys want to hit us up, please hit us up sometime. And meet us back because we're going to come back and... Sorry, I never gave y'all kids trying to tell me to hurry up. Um, we'll come back for... Maybe we'll do a free for all Friday next next time so it can be upbeat. Okay. But until next time, we love you guys. And we'll see you guys later. You like my nails? You like my nails? You like my nails?